let's do some uh, calculations here. On the left-hand side of this table, I'm giving you the, the left, uh, the bounds that we're interested in, the bounds of the values of x that we're interested in, and I want you to use the curve above to give me the probability that x is between those two bounds. So in the first case, I want to know the probability that x is between mu minus sigma, which is over here, and mu plus two sigma, which is over here. So in order to do this, all we have to do is find the area under the curve between those two x values, which is this area that I'm drawing out over here. So the numbers are given directly on this chart. All we have to do is add up 34.1 plus 34.1 plus 13.6, which is going to be, ooh, I don't know, 81.8 percent. Okay, let's do the next one. Mu minus two sigma and mu minus sigma. Well, that's just this area in here, 13.6 percent. Minus infinity to mu. Now, something that I didn't specify explicitly to you was that this is a symmetric curve, which means that we've got exactly 50 percent of the area to the right of the mean, and we've got 50% of the area to the left of the mean. Now, the left bound over here is minus infinity, and the right bound is mu. So we're looking for the area that's between mu and minus infinity way out over here. That's just equal to the area to the left of the mean, which I've just said by definition is 50%. But what about mu minus sigma to infinity? So in that case, we have to, first we see that we've got 34.1 percent in this range between mu minus sigma and mu, and then we're going to add the 50 percent of the area that's to the right of mu and less than infinity, which is all of that area. So we have to add 34.1 plus 50, 84.1 percent. Now I'm going to just add one other example, even though it's not on our table. What if I wanted you to tell me the probability of a value being more than mu plus sigma? So the probability that x is between mu plus sigma and infinity. Well, here we have to use some logic. We know that what we are looking for is the probability to the right of mu plus sigma. So we're looking for this area where this extends out to infinity. Now we know that the entire right half of this curve has an area of 50 percent. And we are just going to, and we're interested in the area that's the right, to the right of the mean, but we want to subtract from that area the area over here between the mean and mu plus sigma. So in the end, we can do that exact thing. We can take 50 percent and we can subtract 34.1 percent, which gives us 15.9 percent.